What is up, Define Squad? A welcome, a welcome, a welcome, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are staying safe and well out there, okay? It's your girl, Alex, and Defined by Alex. We are defining our lives and building our dreams in that order. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be continuing this Silhouette Studio series, okay, you guys? So, last week, okay, if you are just now catching up, I dropped my first episode on the Silhouette Studio series. And let me just remind you what this is, okay? This is for you. This is for you to get started. This is for you to feel more comfortable using your Silhouette Cameo or if you're thinking about getting a Silhouette Cameo, okay? So this series is for my future creators, my future t-shirt preneurs, okay? To get started and not letting having no graphic design skills hold you back, okay? Cause we not here for all that. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to trace in your Silhouette Studio as a beginner. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys. So now we are in the Silhouette Studio, just showing you guys again how to trace. I'm gonna be just recreating what I showed you here, how I just traced over this flower and I have another tab open, which I'm gonna show you guys how to trace this as well, because this one is a little bit different. So before I get started, y'all, um, y'all know I work from home and I'm filming in my home. And so if y'all hear dogs barking, I do apologize. I will try to speak up more so that you don't hear a lot of the barking, but in case you do, then I'm so sorry. And I hope it doesn't disrupt, you know, this tutorial. So let me go ahead and get started since I said that. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this particular episode is going to be all about tracing I'm going to pretty much recreate this design here so let me go ahead and get that started now as I'm in here a few shortcuts I'm going to mention when it comes to opening up you know any files from your computer like any images you want to trace or whatever things like that you can do two things if you have an Apple device you can do command O like the letter O and that opens up you know your folder you can merge some designs and things like that or if you have a Windows, your option is going to be Control O. Okay, so for me in this case, I'm going to select Command and the letter O. And what that does is it opens up my files. Now, when I go to my flower, <coughs> excuse me, when I go to my flower, it's a PNG file. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So why I wanted to show you that is because when you just open up a regular canvas, it just opens up as a blank one, but when you merge, which is bringing a file from your computer into your Silhouette Studio, it gives you that, that canvas, the extra canvas, and your design pops up, okay? So you really, you wanna try to avoid kind of just having a blank canvas if you're not gonna use it, and you don't have to, you know, click that plus sign, because once you merge or add, you know, your files and your pictures to your studio, it opens up a new canvas for you, like you guys see here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm not really going to, you know, dive into a lot of the stuff, you guys. This focus point today is to just simply trace. So I'm gonna leave this design just like you guys see as far as the size. I think the size is fine, nothing to change, right? So now what I'm gonna do is navigate to my right-hand side. And then the first episode, if you guys watched that, it gave you a pretty basic, you know, navigation source, as you will, as to what to find, what things are, hover to discover, and then you can figure out what does what in your Silhouette Studio. So now what I'm gonna do is go to my fourth icon over here, and if you hover to discover, is the trace panel, okay? So now, if I click that, I'm gonna also now select trace area. As you can see, the rest of the options are not available because I ain't traced nothing yet, okay? So you gotta make sure you trace it so that way your other options will pop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do select trace area. Now, I don't need to trace all of this. I'm just gonna kind of measure it and just trace the flower and not really have much access because you're not gonna need all that. For this particular image, you won't. And I'm gonna show you with the next one here too. I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of how to trace. But for this particular example, you ain't gotta start from this top corner and trace your design because it's really, is gonna be pointless. So let me just show you a few more things since I'm inside of this trace panel. So for threshold, <clears throat> sorry, my hand's getting sweaty. For threshold, if you guys wanted to, let's just say you want 
just like a border type of trace, okay? This threshold feature kind of, um, it's pretty much, just think of it as making your trace more bold versus more intricate. So now I'm just gonna slide my dial to the left and as you can see, you know, it really didn't capture any of the field color. It just has like the outline of the petals and then the center outline. Well, just for today's video and purposes for this particular image, I wanna increase that threshold or that boldness so that way I wanna capture the entire flower, all right? So I'm gonna keep it at like a 45, that's cool. And then if I go all the way to the right, it completely just takes out that core. So this is a feature where you're gonna to have to play around with it, you know, just to pretty much see what you wanna trace and what you don't wanna trace, okay? Hope y'all are picking up what I'm putting down, but it's super, super simple. So now that I've pretty much, you know, traced the area, I know that I just want this, this flower to appear like it is, meaning it's gonna give me all of this, these little, you know, accents as well, and then just, Pretty much, it's not gonna be green, so if you're curious what it's gonna look like here in a second, this isn't gonna be green, but it's gonna give me a whole trace of this flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Trace. The next two options, I'm gonna show you with the second design, so just hang tight. So for this particular one, I'm gonna select Trace. Now, to the naked eye, it may look like that nothing happened, okay? However, to see your work, to see the trace area, what you have to do is click on the image and just scoot it over y'all, cause it's, it's there, okay? So now y'all can see how I did that. Super simple, I can also drag this too and you guys can see it's its own design. So again, this is pretty much allowing you to use any type of image with your shirt. And let's just say, just for fun, you know, cause I'm all about having fun with this, Let's just say you want to type words and this can really give you in the put you in the mindset of, you know, how flexible this silhouette studio is. So let's just say you want to flower. Uh oh, I cannot type today. I'm just going to put flower and I'm going to put child. All right, I've had troubles typing for some reason today, y'all, my bad. Okay, so you guys can kind of get the picture. So let's just say I wanted this on a shirt. Well now, I can create this, you know, this visual representation of a flower child because I got a free image off the Google, okay? And then I just pretty much put something together off the top of my head, I traced it. Now when it comes to cutting this, you know, through the Cameo, I can really have, you know, some type of really cute design and it took minimal effort, okay? So I hope you guys like that example on how to trace. Again, feel free to stop this, rewind this, really, you know, do what you have to do to really learn the things that I'm gonna be teaching in this series because I want you guys to feel confident and comfortable when you get your silhouette, you know, your cameo or if you have one and you're just getting started. So that was just like the pretty much basic of the basic trace, okay? So now let's go into a different side of the tracing. So I'm gonna leave this open and I'm gonna to go to um, my middle tab as you will. Now, if you guys can see this, just to merely look at this, this is just another free image that I got off Google and I was like, let me just, let me find something that has a background so I can really show them different types of tracing and things like that. So let me show you the difference between this design, which is you know, PNG, so as you guys know, it's a transparent background, it's not there, versus a JPEG file. So now, let me just slide this over, and as you guys can see, there is a background with this because it's not a PNG and it's a JPEG file. So now, I need to do a little bit more work when it comes to tracing this, so let me show you how to do that. So just as normal, I'm just gonna leave this design size just like it is. I'm not gonna adjust anything. I'm gonna to go to my select trace area because I can leave this panel open since I'm still working on it. And now I'm going to just trace over the lips, okay? Now, it defaults to tracing, you know, pretty much the outside 
on the inside and it left like the little like accent marks for like a gloss or whatever it's supposed to be. But if I wanted to trace the outer edge, what I can do is keep this highlighted and I go to the second option, trace outer edge. Now, again, it might not look like it did anything, but all you have to do is click on your design, drag it over whichever way you want, okay? And now this is the trace outer edge feature, okay? So boom, I'm gonna minimize that so I can show you guys. We're gonna compare them here in a second. So now let's go back. I'm gonna take the same image, select my trace area, trace over the lips, and now I'm gonna do what's called trace and detach. So basically, this is going to, and I'm gonna just make this a little bit bigger just so this can be more profound. But trace and detach is the feature that for JPEG images, because you have that background, it's going to just pretty much cut out that image, okay, and pull that out when you trace it. And I hope that makes sense. So when I do trace and detach, again, looks like nothing happened, but move this over. And as you guys can see, that's what trace and detach does. So in a lot of situations, you may not want to use this because you're still going to have that JPEG background. But just wanted to show you guys that option as well, okay? So let me see if I can color this. Cool. So this is a perfect example. This is a perfect example of trace and detach. I pretty much detached the lips, but I, I still don't want this. So again, if this is what you want, that's cool. You now know how to use it. But I just wanted to show you guys that with the trace um, detach feature, it still leaves that background and you're just left with that hollow ind indentation, that hollow shape, you know of the image that you um, uploaded okay cool beans so now let me minimize this okay just line them up and now here's just my image without the background which is cool so allows me to do that i'm going to minimize this as well and now the last thing i want to show you guys um pretty much is i'm gonna trace it again and I'm just going to show you just that threshold feature, just reiterating what that does, okay? So that threshold feature, again, it goes from whatever degree or percentage of boldness and just how much you want to trace. But if I were to crank this all the way up, it takes out those little features of like what may emulate like gloss, okay? So I'm gonna just dial this back down no big deal and then boom now i'm done now if i wanted to just do a regular trace like i did for the flower i still can okay now what that does it gives me you know the lips the little gloss indentations and all that good stuff okay so that is how you use your trace feature you know i'm going to go back to this flower one I showed you guys how to use it and as a PNG, you know, using a PNG file, and we just traced it and left it alone. And then I showed you guys how to use a JPEG file and trace it, tracing the outer edge, which is the first one. We did trace and detach, and then we just did regular trace and play with some thresholds, okay? So that is gonna be it for this particular tutorial on how to trace using your Silhouette Studio. All right, good people, so that is it with today's video on how to trace in your Silhouette Studio. Again, I hope this series helps you in getting started with your business or whatever you want to embark on when it comes to using your Silhouette Studio. Let me just reiterate, this is for you, okay? This is for you. You have no graphic design skills. You really want to get started and you just need clearer direction. So thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Keep on the lookout for more videos in this series because I'm so passionate about helping you get started so that way you can feel more confident in designing your t-shirts. But as always, friends, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first. And I will be back in my next video. Bye, y'all.